Our members are seeing some of the fruits of our labor already. They're able to go out to the Brown Street campus and see the you know, second phase kind of unfold before their eyes. And I think that, you know, that helps everyone understand uh, you know, that we're putting something tangible again together for our ministry program at St. Matthew's. We had our commitment Sunday on December 5th of 2021. And so now we're coming up on just one year of, of, of that commitment. And the response has just been phenomenal, humbling and awesome all, all at the same time. As a result of that Commitment Sunday, we had about 160 commitments from our members. And that totaled to be about just under $3.3 million worth of commitments over a three-year period. And after just under a year, we've already received 40% of the uh, committed contributions. And we've also received another $360,000 of contributions that were not committed by our membership uh, a year ago. You know, it's, it's really inspiring to see that uh, in, initially we had about 160 families that had made commitments, but over and above that, about 105 families outside of making commitments, have given gifts, and that totaling up to about $360,000. So I would say we're in fabulous financial position. I'll drive by and it is just, it kind of gives you goosebumps a little bit to see the steel structure that frames in the sanctuary or to see the, the bell tower. I think that's gonna end up being sort of the beacon of the site eventually. At the top of that bell tower will be a cross, and that cross will be very prominent in that area. That speaks to really why we've got that facility out there. But just seeing some of the structure being put together was exciting, and I think it helps people understand what uh, the size of the sanctuary might be. What's really great about our, our program at St. Matthew's is that whenever we speak about the program, we talk about the ministry that we're doing. And where, where it shows up to me is in uh, families joining our First Steps program, the number of students that are trying to join our school that are on wait lists. And uh, that, that sort of makes all the big dollars kind of melt away for me and helps me just get focused on why we're doing this. What I hear is, there they go again, which is uh, repeating the pattern that they did in the first forward initiative here and stands unique, not just among Wells congregations, but in other congregations I have the privilege to work with. There's a resolve around the mission that is incredibly persuasive and powerful. Uh, there's a, a deep sense of commitment to the overall mission of St. Matthew's as well as the Christian education expressed through the school. And there's a deep love for Christ and His Church. Enjoy the moment. There are over 300,000 churches in America, all different stripes, but very few churches tackled this kind of a project in their history, let alone in the last decade. Celebrate what God has done. Soak in that, uh, marinate in that. The, but after that enjoyment, continue to roll up those sleeves and to get the work done. So much is at stake. We've been blessed greatly here in, in, in our congregation. Would encourage everybody to continue to provide gifts to the project. But also to give of your time. There'll be ways that our construction crew will, will uh, desire some help from our congregation. So you can actually volunteer to help with some of the things as we start to finish off. 